Okay, today's kind of a big day for us. Here's our house. We're gonna be drilling a well right here. Nice open area. I got a 24 inch culvert right there. Good, good neighbors we got. He's coming over at the excavator. lucan has got the skitty bop. I just filled the dump truck up with some uh, rock cap. It's right there, so we're gonna get to digging. Go down about, hopefully 20 feet. We shall see. Just get my rock dumped. Kinda gotta be quick, cause it is caving in down here. feet okay so we get down 14 feet backfill with the truckload of gravel then we fabriced and we're gonna top it with some clay from there Okay, we got our setup. Got this down 14 feet. Got our convertible well pump. Got pressure coming out. So we're gonna try to clean out the well now. Pretty, well not bad, it's cleaned up quite a bit, but we're gonna purge it out every couple hours and see how clean she gets. This year has been crazy for frogs. These guys are Every, I didn't see them at all last year, but this year, I mean, every day you bump into them. But I guess they're good, they eat the mosquitoes and bugs and whatnot. Well, just came over to this tree, fell on my tractor. Nice, alrighty. So, here's our well set up pressure tank, one horse pump. I got it in convertible style. I could have just gone normal, but it's what I had, so that's what we're running. Um, got all my measurements with our depth. I can run this for almost two hours straight, and it's late August, so that's pretty good. And now it's raining. But now we're gonna be trenching over from here, over to our RV pad. That's where our RV will go. It's just that's where the shit is. And we do have our main electrical that we had to find. So we're gonna go under that, and then we'll build a well house off of these piers. We're gonna do an A-frame. Come along. Okay, so today I'm gonna be starting to build the frame for this. We're just gonna sit it on pier blocks. I know a lot of this is gonna settle. You can tell where we dug our hole and that's native so our blocks are on native ground so i'm going to let this settle and sink and we'll fill it with gravel and then we'll concrete it next year once it's done settling so i got all of our lumber that we pulled off the deck from the mobile home 
it's all good two by sixes we'll just have to pound these screws flat so no one gets hurt and we'll start framing us a little light frame okay got the main frame put up so two a's and then i'll v this out as like a soffit there'll be a door here you open up you walk in you could stand straight up in the middle and then you'll kind of slouch right here but you know you'll kind of kneel down this is where we'll have our filter panel you know there's just enough room for your back and pack it full of insulation we should be good got it all framed up always bead it's looking good nice and cozy in here so we'll run our pipes up I'll frame in some walls and then we're just gonna keep throwing gravel in here because this is gonna settle a lot I think I showed you that one video already but you can really tell right there that that's caving in so we'll just let it cave in and we'll just keep adding gravel until it's done done and then we'll throw some concrete in here I'm gonna re replumb all this make it look all nice and then uh, yeah have ourselves a little well house get some metal on it well, we got some cats, Smoky and Milky, or Honey and Milky, or Smoky. I don't know. These girls, they come up with all these names for these cats. That's our fourth and fifth cat. So I got our pump wired in, 230 volt, wire ran in. I just wanted to hook them up so I could test them. Make sure my wire gauge, that's 12 gauge wire. We did inch and a quarter poly pipe. You can see here we did have to go underneath our main electric in that conduit so I hand dug that section so I'm gonna go through and separate these by hand and pack them in with some dirt so that they've the water and electric have some separation to them and then I'll uh, get the skitty bop in here backfill most of it we do have to put a TN up here as well as a frost free at the end and I need a 90 down there, but it's coming along bit by bit. Okay, got our pipe stubbed up. Um, we just got our water filtered order, ordered. Uh, I'll do a triple bay water filter with a UV light system. Um, and then replumb all that into our main inch and a quarter line. And then I'll put conduit for our 230 volt and our 110 or 115 volt uh, line for a heater and the UV light. And then I'll put a wall here and a wall there, do a little door on this side and uh, put some metal on it. Um, but since it's not quite freezing at night, we are going to be working on moving our camper out here. So I got all this backfilled. So we're going to kind of put the, that well house on hold for a few weeks. We're going to kind of switch gears again, you know, and uh, get our RV put in there and our septic system. But I got it all backfilled. And then right here, I left it open and I got that T put in with an extra 200 feet that'll go to our mobile home. But I'm going to leave this open so I can run our main electrical and run it in that same trench when we're doing that. So I'm just going to leave this like this for now. I'm going to park our RV there. So we've got the hose bib and the electric and then we'll put in a little septic drain field right there for the RV. So that's going to be our next steps. Other than that, we are super happy to have water out here. That's a huge, uh, huge step for us being able to kind of be out here a little bit more self-sufficient. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and look forward to the next one. Thanks.